Hi everyone, I'm going to tell you about our paper called Exploring the Whole Rashomon Set of Sparse Decision Trees, and this is work of Reishin, Chu Jiang, Zhu Chen, Takuya Takagi, Margot Seltzer, and me, I'm Cynthia Rudin. Now in machine learning, we pretty much always follow a universal paradigm where a training set is fed into a machine learning algorithm which produces a predictive model. And the model could be a decision tree, it could be a random forest, it could be a neural network, any kind of model. Ideally, the model is interpretable so that a domain expert could critique it. Now, we use this general paradigm for essentially all machine learning applications, but there's a problem with it. It's fundamentally flawed, and we should really reconsider for high-stakes decisions. So why is that? And it's because when you produce an interpretable model that's designed to be critiqued, domain experts will criticize it. And they'll say, I think something's wrong with this model. Is there another model that I could choose instead? And if the algorithm only produces one model, there's nothing you can easily do to fix it. And so we propose a new paradigm for machine learning, which is to hand the user all of the good models from a given function class and let them choose which model agrees with their domain expertise. Now, we're interested in the set of decision tree models that have low objective values, where in our case, the objective is the misclassification error plus a constant times the number of leaves in the trees. And the set of good models is called the Rashomon set. The Rashomon set, all, all the trees in the Rashomon set are both accurate and sparse. The question is, how do we get the Rashomon set for complex classes of models like decision trees? Finding even one optimal sparse tree is NP hard, but finding all of the good sparse trees is even harder. And that's the question that we address in this work. Now we introduce an algorithm called tree farms, or trees fast Rashomon sets, which efficiently finds and stores all optimal and almost optimal sparse decision trees. And it allows the user to choose between trees. Now tree farms has three important elements. First, a dynamic programming formulation that creates lots of subproblems to solve. And the solution to each subproblem is a set of subtrees. And once we solve all the subproblems, we can solve the whole problem and get all the close to optimal trees. And second, we have a collection of theorems that reduce the search space so that we can actually do this computation really, really fast. And then third, we have the model set representation. This is a really powerful data structure that allows us to efficiently store and evaluate lots of trees. Now, we might be wondering if we need something like tree farms. Like, can we get the Rashomon set by just sampling lots of trees? And so we ask, do other methods produce all almost optimal models? And as it turns out, they do not. So just to show you an example, on the Mung2 data set, Tree Farms finished creating the Rashomon set in 46 seconds. So we tried running some sampling methods for 46 seconds. Now in 46 seconds, Bayesian additive regression trees created 488 unique trees. How many of them in the Rashomon set? Only three. Random Forest created over 20,000 trees. None of them are in the Rashomon set. Cart on random bootstrap samples of the data created over 20,000 trees. Only seven of them are in the Rashomon set. And we can compare that to Tree Farms, which provably provides the whole Rashomon set, and it gives us over 105 million unique trees, all of which are in the Rashomon set. And we would have had no idea that the Rashomon set was quite that big if we didn't have tree farms. Now, in the paper, we discussed several applications for tree farms, and the first one is a way to analyze variable importance that doesn't depend on a specific model. Now, tree farms can tell you whether a variable is important to all good models, to no good models, or to some but not all of them. And you can answer these questions directly by just looping over the Rashomon set from tree farms. Now, the second application is to find Rashomon sets for other metrics, right? Our code generates Rashomon sets for accuracy. So get all the sparse accurate models, but what if you cared about like F1 score or balanced accuracy? Now, we have theorems in the paper that prove that the Rashomon sets for other performance metrics are contained inside the Rashomon set for accuracy. So we can get a Rashomon set for F1 score if we can get one for accuracy. And we can also find a Rashomon set for balanced accuracy, again, using the accuracy Rashomon set. And then the third application is robustness um, to the removal of data. And here we show that if we remove some data points, the new Rashomon set is contained in the original data's Rashomon set for a slightly higher threshold. Now there's a user interface to tree farms called TimberTrack. It's designed by Jay Wong. It's featured in an IEEE Viz paper. TimberTrack allows users to interactively play with the trees in tree farms and store their favorite trees and really just kind of get a good look at what's in the Rashomon set so they can make a good decision. Thank you very much.